Last time, this time is going to be a Brian. Oh, fuck. Um. <laughs> no pressure. This is, no. A panic. No. this is a problem because, as you'll all recall, I was like 90% asleep last night, last time, I'm pretty sure, for most of it. Oh, yeah. We do. So. Yeah, it's great. It's going to be fun. Go for it. Uh, we got bombed, I think. That was last time? Yes. Yeah. And we got bombed on route to wherever it is we're going, and Riven is steadily going fucking insane. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> Someone do a better job, please. I mean, accurate. Yeah. Very sh short, but yes, accurate. Um, and then the ending of the session was a nice call from Dragon Lady. Oh, right. <laughs> I mean, that's all that really needs to be said. You got bombed by a group of uh, harpies and goblin, uh, 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 harpies and a bugbear, and uh, once again, slow spell doing the work there again, girl. <laughs> and see, that combat's over with and done. Um, that that bugbear had something he was going to do with his attack action. And then he was going to rage bonus action, and he could not do that on his first turn because one Bjorn grabbed him, and two, slow. Go. <laughs> Bugbear had a bad day. Bugbear had a bad day indeed. Anyway, Bjorn's um, damage output is shitty, but at least he can make some things slow. Um, that <laughs> aside, um, we shall jump back into the session here. Um. The, the end of last session was the conversation with the dragon lady doing message on, or sending on Locke again and saying that uh, she was basically you know in a less you know the, she was basically apologizing but her way without it being you know she did wrong so much as there was a miscommunication, a mis misinformation, and um, apologizing while shunting the blame in literally any other direction. Pretty much, yeah. Um, and I will sort of, for sake of brevity, the the uh, context of you know she's going to use you as the punching punching glove rather than the punching bag. She was basically going to tell you to do what you were going to do anyway from uh, Riven. Find the person that gave you fake money and give her proof that he does not exist anymore. <laughs> so, oh we're assassins now. <laughs> no, we on just got hired to be a murder hobos. On some assassins level, Bjorn, quite... Bjorn may have an issue with that. Right. Remind me who it is that uh, gave us the fake money again, specifically. Oh, it was the jeweler that we stole the magic hat from. <laughs> yep. Uh, the okay. gnome that you yeah. stole the magic hat from. Also, oh, yeah. also, yay, murder hobos! Did we win? I mean, we're not hobos. We have a home, or I have one at least. <laughs> um, My also, home is the trees. I, I sort of feel like a hobo. I can't go home. I could lock myself back up, but I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> For what it's worth, um, it's also important to note that that particular gnome, as annoying and obnoxious as he is, is, by all accounts, Gretchen's uncle. Hmm. So. A lot of um, No, we, we've known that. You do I know. know that. Yeah. You do know that. Um, but anyway, she basically was... I, I was ending it all ominously, but that was just for sake of ending of the episode. She was essentially going to tell you to do what you were going to do anyway. Mm. Assuming you were going to follow through with what Riven said. Um, mm. I mean, Locke didn't necessarily want to do that, but if the group consented to it on the majority, he wouldn't have objected. But now the mob boss we're indebted to straight up told us to do it. I was like, well, can't really argue with that. Yeah. <laughs> mob boss. What time is it right now? Mm. Ad, as at this point in the game, is it like 
day, um, night, or are we setting up camp at William it, Transit? It, you had just started, the end of last session ended with you waking up the following day to begin your trek to the west. Or to, yeah, west. Um, Lock will, uh, in that case, Lock will, uh, like, uh, I'm assuming the blanket of fortitude is still up. Yeah. So if you're that message. She, 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 she didn't necessarily give you a timetable, so she just said that that is something that uh, she would like to have happen, and she was apologizing for money and was going to not ask for money, at least for now. Okay. Well, the blanket Ooh, of fortitude up, no. then. Locke will... Uh... <laughs> Just slowly, slowly give this long, exaggerated nod. Turn back around and go right back into the blanket of fortitude. Find a cup of hot chocolate. <laughs> chug the shit out of it. You will then come back out. Look at Riven and be like, So, uh, you remember how we were, like, collectively asking for permission to kill? We're gonna go beat some sentence into him? Make him regret it? Yes? Yes? Permission yes. granted? Awesome, we're gonna head there now. No, well, not now! What? We'll hit it on the way back. We're like halfway to Noro's place, and I feel like that takes priority. What do you mean on the way back to what? <laughs> what the fuck is this cat doing? Meow! <laughs> 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 Give me your trinkets. No, uh, not home. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Oak is <sighs> well. We do still have Noro to deal with, and for every time that we are out here trying to figure out what's our own thing, he's potentially going to be fortifying his lair even more, especially considering he only has one left. He's a bit of a coward, but when he feels cornered, he you know, bunkers down. Um, and we can't go back to Caverton. He can't go back to Caverton because we kind of oust him before. Um, so... I say we continue that trek, and then if we want to go back down to Rydell to deal with the gnome, we do that after. Yeah. Like, uh, just as a reminder, like, Noro's hideout is, like, in the Oxbald Heights, right? Yep. Yes. So, we go there, deal with him, hitch a ride from Plarand to that one town near the Kleenvog Wood, and then head up to Rydell from there, so that we kind of go come full circle. Does that sound like a plan? Is there a ride? I mean, Plarin, I'm assuming, is a port town. Yeah. You oh. Go across... oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. You can go across the water and do it that way if you really wanted to. That's interesting. Yeah, I could. It would also give us an excuse to explore parts of the map we haven't been to before, namely Plarin. <laughs> um, you could also, in um... theory, if you wanted to go even faster... Um, you could go through uh, the mountains above Karagal. You could come back and go uh, something like that and just go through the mountainside because uh, Riven would know that path potentially or at least know someone who knows that path. Bear in mind, going across water changes how long it takes on those maps, because I had... That's just how the map is designed for it to do that. So... Plus, you'd have to find a boat, and finding a boat could take time. Hmm. You have options. And if hmm. you wanted to go right back to Rydell, you could... You know, cut corners instead of going all the way back around if you wanted to do that. That's fine. Um, but regardless, uh, continuing westward is the consensus to finish up with, uh, what's going on with Noro. I suppose so, though we haven't heard a vote from Bjorn yet. 
I mean, Bjorn has no objection to that plan. It seems kind of a waste to walk days and days up here and then not do what we came up here to do. Yeah. Yeah. And just look at it this way, Ribbon. You can be excited for killing a person later. And this also might be yeah. a way for us to this also might be a way for us to plan trying to murder somebody inside of a busy town. It is a tricky business, that. So how about we go and murder the hobo in the cave first? <laughs> I mean, Locke weirdly already has like seven ideas on how they can either actually assassinate the guy or make it look like we assassinated him so that we don't have to deal with the the fact that we murdered someone on our conscience. Not that you're not, you know, going to murder somebody now. It's just this guy's evil, and the other guy's just just an idiot. But, right? You know, right. we have killed people before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like mo the vast majority of them deserved it, <laughs> or at the very Don't least, in the vast majority, does? because it was self defense. Hmm. I wonder. Just think of little Gretchen. What he did to her. What did he do to her? I don't remember. It's been a while. We so. never found out. We just were told to be careful of him. Mm. Um, all you basically know of that connection is it is, in fact, Gretchen's uncle, and he was one of the folks in Gretchen's family, biological family, that just did not let her be herself, basically. Mm. Um, anywho... For some so, reason, I just got the staggering urge to refer to him as a garbanzo bean, and I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's I, his I don't even know what a garbanzo is. bean is. You, you haven't had garbanzo beans, man? I mean, I've heard the name. I've probably had them. I just don't know what they are off the top of my head. Usually, food is put in front of me, and I eat it. They're those kind of, like, yellowy beans. I'll get anyway. you there, sure. Kind anyway. of flat? No, those are lima beans. Uh, Anywho... Going westward. Uh, Let us continue with the westward travel. Um, it's uh, Riven, you are not going to get lost, necessarily, because you can't, because Ranger. Um, Ranger, bullshit to go! <laughs> yeah. However, you're not going to get advantage, because you're still technically uh, suffering from your uh, thingy thing for another day. Um... <laughs> <laughs> that that's oddly adorable. I don't know what the character in that is doing, but that's cute. Anyway, um, sure looks like blood. He does. That's that's why I'm kind of like um. Anyway, uh, <laughs> she's like full on. God. She's like full on yonder mode just of this. being way too happy of killing somebody. Anyway. Um, Three sorry. guesses what word I use to find picture. <laughs> anyway, sorry, go ahead. Um, moving on. Westward, survival roll to make sure you get there in the uh, at least halfway decent amount of time there, uh, Riven. 24. Yep, you're going to go just fine. Um, you continue your track west, and... Do we get to the river? Well, first and foremost, you're going to, uh, Riven, roll for me a, uh, charisma save again. Hey! Right. Twenty. That's a, that's a thing that you do a lot. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not going to do go dream sequence this time. I'm just worrying about specific other things. Um, Fine. Roll for me a D... What is it? 8, I think? Uh, D8's what I've been making you roll mostly. I need to reopen my for it, for it, for it, for it. One time it was a D6, but usually D8. 5? 5. For a 20? Okay. Uh, 
Okay, yeah. The shenanigans. So, um... Where is... Oh. For some reason, your name has went weird on my, uh, Discord. Uh... That. Awesome. <laughs> um... So, you continue onwards, uh, and, and give me another D4. And this is for how many days it lasts. Two. Two. Good. Um, so it's still there by the time you get to the bridge. Awesome. Let's keep going. We can make it. Yep. Um, you guys will find one lone bridge. Uh, well, somewhat lone bridge because it's up here, not quite on the map. And uh, on the other side, there is what appears to be a uh, wooden structure outpost. Huh. Um, sort of a, a a bit of a trading spot or, or a small. Uh, structure, not a town of any sort, just just a place where uh, perhaps people stop, like a rest stop, or people co a little mini trading hub of sorts with some of the smaller villages. Uh, Ribbon, you have been here before. Yep. Um. And um, yeah, it's just a nice little trading hub. Currently, it is empty. Hmm. There's no one there. Does it look like it was recently inhabited, or like it's been abandoned for a long time? Uh, yeah, it's, it looks like it was recently inhabited. Whoever, uh, actually, give me an investigation check there, uh, Locke. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Um, so it does look like it was recently inhabited, and whoever left from it left from it in a hurry. Locke is whipping out his sickle just in case. And, uh, I believe, Ribbon, when you were here before, you were usually accustomed to them saying that, uh, at least on some level, that usually there was somebody here. They didn't usually leave the place abandoned. Mm -hmm. At least not for very long. There's mm -hmm. always at least someone here. And it's a little... It would potentially... Or no, it would be odd for you from what little time you spent here that it is completely abandoned. But yes. You can continue on and make it into the woods and it'd be great. Hmm. If you just want to hmm. leave the outpost... What time of day did you say it was? Um, skipping ahead a little bit because you've had your treks a little bit. At this point, it would be about afternoon. So, like, 3 p.m. Can I look around for tracks? Sure. Roll, uh, are you looking specifically for tracks? Tracks would be survival, and then, uh, investigation would be looking for, like, any anything else of that persuasion? No, she's just looking at tracks. If see okay. if she sees anything unusual, because yep. If we pass was through, it, was it through or in, I'd probably investigate it around. Yeah, uh, Locke would like to at least just like cast his eyes around and look and see if there are like any signs of like violence or conflict or battle or anything. Well, Accidentally did my well, role whisper to GM. I rolled I a thirteen. Uh, Ten plus three is thirteen. Yep. Seventeen. 17. Um. Yeah. So, Riven. Um. You do find. Um. Tracks. Um. And they appear to be. You see, ha uh, like halfling tracks or dwarven tracks, which you remember that the people that you saw up here before were a halfling and dwarf, uh, I believe. And then there was like three people that lived here. Yep, it was two dwarfs and a halfling. Um, 
and you will find uh, their tracks for a brief bit and then tracks of someone being dragged or something being dragged it's going towards the forest Riven's going to follow the drag marks okay so everybody sees Riven looking at tracks and then she starts heading off towards the forest everything okay? <clears throat> yeah just tracks are these relevant tracks? If they were if they were not relevant, would I be following them? Luck does not answer that and just follows. <laughs> <laughs> I follow too, I guess. Yep. All right, everyone going off into the uh, start of the woods and the forest. Um. So this is a bit uh sort of snowy esque woods. And you find that there are uh, the trees and like mounds of white snow, and it, it starts to get a little bit more hilly as you're making your way this way. Um, and Riven, the drag mark tracks that you find. Uh, are leading straight into one of these little mounds and hills and um you guys can't be s technically can't be surprised because the annoying spoot <laughs> so as Riven is going towards these um tracks and these mounds um Bjorn your sword is going to glow Hold up. Informing ah. you potential ambush. I'm gonna pull my sword out and sort of be like my blade informs me that uh we are not alone. Oh great. I would uh like to use my divine sense real quick. See if I can detect any fiends or undead or anything of that nature nearby. Um, what is it? Fiends, undead, uh, celestial and, fiend uh, or undead? Yep. Uh, nope. Kind of perfect today. All so, right. Riven. I know what it isn't. <laughs> yeah, you know what it isn't. Um, Riven. Uh, do you heed Bjorn's warning and stop? She's just gonna, like, poke the mound. Are you gonna poke the mound? Well, yeah, she's gonna try to dig through it since the drag marks went there. Okay. Um. So, yeah. Uh. You poke at the mound. And as you sort of push at the 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 um like snow in a way it would be about like here or so mound like right there um and um you poke and you see just briefly um that uh, you have underneath all of the uh, or underneath some of the snow is a nice fine silk web or at least someone wrapped in it and uh, we are going to roll for initiative because there is something here and you guys technically can't be surprised oh joy it's gonna be spiders, isn't it? Not just any spiders. Underground spiders, from the look of it. It'd be monstrous silkworms. We've fought spiders before. We have. We've survived. We have. I think barely. <laughs> <laughs> 
spider art. <laughs> Just pops up out of the ground? No. I don't it... like how big he is. No, it does not pop up out of the ground. It pops up out of thin air. Oh, great. Phase spider. Um, I'll just look over at that just before combat starts. Like, oh, well, ain't that's a surprise. So, uh, yeah. Riven, you poke at the uh, mound, and it sort of moves a little bit to the touch of your sword, and you, having seen something like this before, it's pretty easy for you to ascertain that this is not just a mound of snow, but rather someone wrapped in snow, or in silk, buried under snow. And, Cad, you're going first. Alright. Let's um, see. Cad, with your uh, perception and with Riven pointing at the thing and then sudden spider, Riven, do you say anything about there being web and underneath all of that? I go. Focus on the giant spider that appeared. Okay, yeah. So I charge forth, raging, and want to smack spider thing. You can do that. Roll for your attack. Reckless, of course. Uh, crit for. Was that thirty-two? 29, 30, yeah, 32. 32 damage. Good grief. Ow. And I get a second swing, right? You do. Um, but I happen to be particularly lucky. So, 16 to hit. 16 will, in fact, hit. Which, ignore the damage on the second one, that was just a re-roll of the attack. It was 15 plus 3. <clears throat> um, yeah. Ow. Okay. And I'm done. Spider, spider on last leg. Ow, pain. Ow. <laughs> I broke Already. seven of its legs in one turn. Well, okay, so... Four le last four legs. Sure. Okay. That sounds less impressive. Anyway, I'm done. Oak, um, having uh, come to wind of this, he's like, um, great. Spiders again. At least this time we're not in a cave. Right? And it's broad daylight. And Riven, what was in that mound? You poked it and then spider appears. What's what's and then Oak having established this is going to point out that there is a much larger heel back over here. Back over where now? Behind these set of trees up at the top left. Ah, I see. My camera was zoomed in really close on the one spider. Me too. But is this, this spider still alive? Uh, very barely. Yes. Four of his eight legs. Um, Oak is, uh... Yep. Yeah, Oak is gonna cast up Warding Bond for Locke, because... <laughs> right. Right. Um, what does that do? He's... You're gonna take half damage, because Oak is going to take it to you. Take it for you. Oh, sweet. Nice. Just in case something nice, goes nice. crazy. It's also worth noting, um, Locke, Bjorn, and Riven make for me a perception check. Uh -oh. We're going to see if you notice it, because Oak is probably going to. But Eleven. Twenty! I did not. <laughs> Damn, the dice just take Bjorn. Really Bjorn cool. is off to the side thinking to himself, I wonder if spiders enjoy geysers of ale. <laughs> hey. 
Science has got to know. Uh, let's roll this not as good at perception. Still at 26. Okay, so yeah. Riven, you pick up on it, and Oak does as well, and then Locke rolled at least a 10. Yeah, so everybody but Bjorn. Um, <laughs> well. Oh no. There, when Cad comes in and starts swinging, and he rages, he does that same thing that um, he normally does. His Spectral Guardian things appear, and they go flying around um, the, the one spider there. And the three of you, the the two of you and Oak notice that um, there's an ever subtle glow of purple. It's not normally there. That's in the eyes of his specters. I would ask if I don't notice this too, but I guess that makes sense. Right. Exactly. You're, you're raging right now. You remember nothing <laughs> by your own words. Yep. And now it is to Locke. All right, so Locke is going to quirk a brow at that. Look at the spider that looks like it's about ready to die. He's going to glance at himself, knowing that he now has this ward on him that'll protect him a bit. Then he's going to look at the sickle of slaughter, give a little nod, and he's going to charge into melee range. Oh, wow, really? Okay. Yeah. And I will use a bonus action to utter the command word bleed, and I will make an attack roll against the spider with my sickle of slaughter. Interesting. That rock star. So that's a 13. Does that hit? Please tell me that hits. This thing is big. <laughs> it does hit, actually. Yes! <laughs> then that means that the Sickle of Slaughter activates and it casts Inflict Wounds at first level on this sucker. Why did it roll zero slashing damage? Because I have a negative two to my strength. Yeah, it's 1d4. <laughs> yeah. Plus no two minus two. So, so for my damage, blood. I rolled a zero, but I get so he would still get a one. cast of inflict yeah. wounds without using a spell slot, basically. So that's three d ten damage. And you're a warlock, so it's automatically max spell slot. No, no, the, 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 it's automatically first level from the sickle. Min minimum damage is one, so you do still deal one damage. Um. Oh damn! Jeez. There okay. you go. So, total of 27 damage with that. <laughs> Why have I not been using this? <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright. So, guess we what, We just got Locke? another barbarian in the party. Guess what, Locke? <laughs> I killed it? You just killed a spider. Nice. <laughs> Woo! So, can we just say that, like, Locke just runs up and just, like, sinks the sickle into, like, one of its eyes, and then just this icky reddish energy just... <laughs> spreads out over its body and just makes like a bunch of like fissures over around its head like like a, like an impact crater almost before it just drops like the skin just rends open yep something like and that. it makes like a very moist <laughs> as it falls apart <laughs> yeah <laughs> sure. following that Locke will just look at the sickle look at riven look back at bjorn and be like why have i not been using this <laughs> and then <laughs> just sit there and goes like yes you have <laughs> your you're not a bag of bones anymore. <laughs> well, I am a bag of bones, but I'm a bag of bones that'll shank you. This okay, bone has a sharp point. point. <laughs> uh, yes, embrace it. <laughs> Riven, oh. it's your turn. Uh, yes, I'm going to... You said there's webs in this mound? Yes. She's going to cut through the webs and see what she finds. <laughs> um... How carefully are you doing that? Uh -oh. Well, she knows something was dragged over here. So she kind of wants to keep whatever's in it intact. So just try to keep it. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to treat this as a... Oh no. <laughs> Okay, axes can slash. You're trying to be careful. Give me a strength check with advantage to basically just rend the web away. Strength with advantage? Because you're I just... thought it would, like, let see, it would be dexterity. <laughs> yeah. Because you're trying. Say... Are you hacking through it, or are you, like, carefully guiding the thread onto a uh, uh, sewing wheel thing? 
Uh, give me a... Yeah, dexterity would make more sense because you're trying to be more careful with your axe. Um, so give me a dexterity roll. Oh, hey! Nice. Cool. Natural 20. Nice. Um, so you rend the uh, web away flawlessly, not hurting the person who is underneath. And um, underneath, you find... Uh, Leave. What was the name that I gave them? Let me double check. Uh, I don't know. It's in a store in a Google document. It, it is. I know. Um. <laughs> it is a. Uh, it's a uh, Mus Musak, the male of the two Musak? dwarfs. Yep. Okay. Or, or Musak, Musak, rather. Um. Get to where I can copy the damn plastic thing. There we go. She's gonna like kind of. Is his yeah. head like towards her, or is her his his feet towards her? Currently, he's his head is closest to you right now. She's gonna lightly tap his head with her foot. Uh, are you trying to ascertain if he is okay? Yes. <laughs> Make me a medicine roll. What's Hollis doing with his uh, turn? Uh, Hollis is just like coming up here going like, what, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Medicine. Thirteen? Um, he is unconscious, mm -hmm. but he's not bleeding. Or doesn't appear to be, best you can tell. Yeah, he'll be fine. In the snow, okay. I mean, he's wrapped in, kind of wrapped up in silk, so he'd be fine. Oh, yeah, he's, he's probably actually quite warm. By the by, Locke. Hi. <clears throat> um. You suddenly, all around you, have a... I'm not going to put it over your spray, because that would be annoying. But they are technically in your space. They just appear in your space. Tons and tons and tons of teeny tiny little spiders. <laughs> Ah! Uh, Locke will scream like a little girl. <laughs> ah! Just like that. Just like all is ah! <laughs> <laughs> So, given this, how long will it be before Locke charges into melee again? Well, they're on me. So attack the baby spiders with everything I've got. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> they are mostly just around you and being annoying because they rolled a nine to hit you. <laughs> um, actually, yeah, they they had to spend their bonus action to appear in your space. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. Lock is currently surrounded by a swarm of spiders. Bjorn. Hmm. The time. Uh. Huh. I don't feel like I have much in the way of spells right now that's good for dealing with a swarm of tiny spiders. And I don't know that I want to just whack at them with a sword, so... They're, like, literally on him, right? Yep. Well, so, I guess... Yeah, mostly on him, because they can't technically fly, so they're sort of just... All over. So, yeah. This would be an appropriate time to blast me with ale. You're gonna be very cold. Oh, fuck. That's a good point, but we gotta save the ale for the after party, so I grab the decanter of endless water. <laughs> and, um, <All> right. <laughs> I'm gonna geyser... <laughs> the goddamn spiders off of Locke. I'm gonna give him a good rinse. I mean, yeah. Um, so, roll me a ranged-based attack roll with Geyser. Or, or click up with what Geyser does again, specifically. 
Yeah, I'm double checking it real quick. Uh, uh, the target must succeed on a DC 13 strength saving throw, or take 1d4 bludgeoning damage and fall prone. That is, unfortunately, also going to apply to me, isn't it? Yes, it is. So that's a constitution save? Strength save. Uh, strength. Strength. Oh, goody, I have negative two in that. Five! Beautiful. <laughs> well, oh, it's worth it to not be covered in fucking spiders. Okay. You get a plus three on that, and also you don't take as much as it's going to be, depending on how much it is. That's true. You are in range of my auras. Um, so you had a minus two, was it? Yeah. To my strength, yeah. So it was a total of five, a total of seven. Um, these are teeny tiny little spiders and a bunch of them. They have less than you do. Um, they have a strength score of minus four. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so they are both from both Locke and the spiders. And they take damage, or...? Um, and then is what, 1d4 damage? Yep. So roll your d4 no. of damage. Here it comes. The big three. Um... Are there any other enemies on the battlefield other than baby spider things? Oh wait, some of that damage would go to... go to Oak, wouldn't it? It would. So three becomes one. <laughs> For, to both of us, right? Yep. Oak's hair randomly whips over to one side and starts dripping. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so one damage for you and one damage for Oak. And actually, yeah, um, it doesn't even have to be a roll because it would just automatically happen anyway. One damage to Oak but no damage to you, as one of uh, uh, Cad's specters just sort of soaks, eh, soaks that damage for you. Oh, nice. So I, I'm flat on my ass, but I didn't take any damage. Yep. And what Beautiful. about the spiders? Are they blasted off of me? They would be not on you anymore currently. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> Well, I was going to roll that, but I didn't realize it was only 1d4, so yeah. Ain't you guys are a <laughs> What? Okay. Whenever I have my swirling dudes protect, I, I've been randomly putting in, you know, whatever the purpose of the roll is. They're, they're asserting their dominance against the, the geyser. And then that is your turn, Bjorn. Yeah. Are you going to move? <laughs> um... I'll hold position for now. Okay. Um, so... Hollis is getting attacked by another spider. Oh, shit. Fear's on that side. Um, Nickname is Target. Do, 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 do. Not a concert. Okay. Oh, why is there two big spiders that have five? Yeah, how about that? Oh, is there another one gonna pop up? Um, so let's do. Yeah, what are what if these are babies to whatever is in that big mound over there? Eighteen. Are they had babies. The but... eighteen to hit Hollis. Oh, that hit. That does hit Hollis. Yes, it does. Um. So, seven. Okay. And, uh, make for me a constitution save there, uh, Hollis. Oh, no. If he fails, he becomes spider pup. Nine. 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 Spider pup. Spider pup. Okay. Um. 
18 poison damage. Ouch. Roll me, oh, no. 3D, roll me 3d6 is cad. Um. Okay. 11. Okay. Or 1 for 6. Okay. So. Uh, in total damage. Lock, uh, uh, bleh, in total damage. Would normally be the 18 plus the 7. But 11 of it is negated by swirling specter things. What? Uh -huh. I already used my reaction this turn, though, right? No, you didn't. I thought he did to protect me from your bla geyser blaster. Yeah, he, he rolled. He rolled for it, but uh, I never said it required a reaction of any sort. Interesting. The weird stuff is going on. With We're just inspectors. having funky shit happen to us at all turns, like fucking Riven's becoming psychotic. <laughs> <laughs> Riven's going psychotic. <laughs> fucking Cadrill's fucking specter things have a mind of their own. Locke I've, got a melee kill. <laughs> I've got it. We charged in and fell into the snow, into the den, and we're currently having a fever dream from their poison. Venom. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, Kat, Venom. your turn. I rush up so I can smack Spider. Uh-huh. Yay. Smack good. Well, apparently I'm smacking it good, so how about a 27 to hit for 17 damage? Alrighty. And second swing. Uh, 25 to hit for 15 more. Okie dokie. I guess I'm done. Oak. He's uh, seeing the fast and whirling movements of your specters and realizes that there's another spider and and the ale and things. Locke, why did you rush in? I know you wanted to use the, the guiding bolt to spider. <laughs> the spider or the spider zzzz? Actually, yeah, that's a good point. Guiding bolt to spider zzzz. The spider zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
but okay. I mean, I could, but... Hit the little things that were just making his skin crawl, literally. I'm doing comedic effect here. Right, of course. (laughs) So, they need to make a uh, constitution saving throw of DC 15. All 5,282 of them. No, shish. That would be And this will be 68. No, 7. 22 damage to the lot of them. Uh, little tiny fireworks. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'll just kind of look at the spot where they were and be like, ah, fuck you. <laughs> and then he'll turn, shake Bjorn's hand, and use his movement action to come over here. And that'll be his turn. <laughs> hey, I know Locke's the comic relief. I'm leaning into it. <laughs> I know what I am. <laughs> Raging. I need the rage button, I like that. by the way. Ha 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 ha. Rage. <laughs> Raging. <laughs> Go for it. Fifteen? Uh, fifteen will hit, yep. And then, the next one. Fourteen. Fourteen. And now you have another dead spider. Hooray! Is it instantaneously dehydrated or whatever? Uh... No. Okay. Thomas. <laughs> He's gonna whine and go up to the ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> Poor puppy. Alright, so is the spider dead? Yes. Uh, the one up okay. top is, cur- is dead, yes. So. Um, boop. And. Boop. Um, and Hollis goes over and whines. And, um. Is that, is that all of them, or is there more? Rar. Oh, another fucking... Sw- is that one on me, too? Yes, it is, isn't it? Crit! <laughs> oh, god damn it! <laughs> it crit on you. Hooray. Look, it's just offended oh. now. <laughs> um, so... Um... Bjorn, boozer blaster me! <laughs> 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 Help it again. <laughs> 13 damage. Is that still halved with oak? Um, That would be halved with oak, so 6 goes to oak. And, and do I still have, like, you, infinite reaction stuff? You would, but first, uh, give me a constitution save, Locke. Oh, shit. I'm not good at those. No. But uh, hey, I like, don't have on two on them. That's an 18. 21 okay. total. Okay. Locke has tasted blood and his resolve is hardened. <laughs> so you are going to, and this would be doubled also because crit, and so you are going to take uh, a quarter of this because half because of your making the save and then half again because of uh, Oak. So five two and you take a total of which is six so eight roll me three d sixes cat none <laughs> lock my is ability unharmed. does something Woo-hoo. <laughs> bjorn <laughs> this turd order feels rigged. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at this point, I feel like I'm just still using the decanter. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you could wash off lock again if you want. <laughs> yep. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> That's a good out of context. 
<laughs> Boozer blast me. <laughs> That's Bjorn's role in this fight. He's he's the boozer blaster. He's just here to hose off the excess spiders from the warlock. Yup. Right. Yup. Out of context. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm setting that in right now. <laughs> All right. So strength save, uh, lock. Strength save. Best of luck. Natural twenty. Okay. Auto so made. So you're you're uh, not gonna fall prone, and I don't think he takes damage either, right? Correct. So he's just wet. Yep. <laughs> What's the DC? Thirteen. Spiders. Ah! Are you spiders failed, take... you spiders. Spiders take a D4 of damage. And are knocked on their collective asses. Yep. <laughs> Hey, Kadra, want to go stomp stomp? <laughs> that means yes. <laughs> so roll your d4 of damage. Here it comes. Three. Um, so... This is when the fun begins. Oh, uh -oh. no. <laughs> He's already having fun. It is never good when the dungeon master smiles. Right? So, it's already too late. The big mound starts to move. Oh, the, no. <laughs> the, the, the mound will... Yes, the big mound will start to shift and move. And everyone is going to hear a... I guess insectoid roar. However that could work. Yes, that... Uh. Well done. Cool. Yes. Um, I have never said the fun out of Ethan. And here <laughs> it comes. Also, Boom. I've swapped to the boss oh, music playlist. Holy crap. Oh! Fuck. I was right. Those were the babies, and they had a lot of babies. What the fuck? Um. <laughs> the slaughter's gonna get some use to that, boys! <laughs> Ow, my head. I'm just gonna put um, the decanter away. All right, I got boss music going. And it is faster than I am. Yikes. And it's also swinging at Cad. Oh, no. no. I did sort of mush his babies. You did. And it gets two attacks. 17's going to miss, though. Correct. So will 16. Gert. Ha! Ah, take that. Um, I'm going to smack you, spider. Fifteen to hit. Uh, big, 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 big mama spider. Fourteen hit. No. Fifteen hit. Uh, no. Okay. Well, poop. Um, how about a crit for 24 damage? Ow. Um, I'm snarling at it. And your spectre thingies are all flying around in 24 damage, you said? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so... At the end of Cad's turn, poof! Ba, 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 ba. No. It disappeared? It did disappear. Legendary action. Poof. Oh! Oh! Oh, good! That's so, what we need. Legendary actions. Okay. Oak's like, uh, um. <laughs> What? What? The... Um, Oak. I'd like to point out that Oak would most likely be beside of himself because for the first time he can't perceive something. Yeah, pretty much. Um. Uh... <laughs> My go. Yep. Well, I can't see the big target anymore, and I was gonna use a big spell slot on that, and I only have the one spell slot left. So instead, uh. I'm just going to uh, turn back to the uh, prone uh, little spiders. 
Eh, that a little grimace, and I guess I'll just Eldritch Blast the bitches. Okie dokie. So, uh, I believe I have two attacks with Eldritch Blast right now? You do. Right, because I'm not 11th level yet. Right, okay, so. And these are at advantage, right? Yep. Because they're prone? Okay. Uh, that's a 20 to hit, 9 damage. Yep. And a 19 to hit, 10 damage. Nice. Shift. Popcorn. Oh, All right, they're dead? Yep. All right, Popcorn once they're dead, lock at this point and go, ha! And that'll be his turn. Riven. Uh, dead. is a ribbon. The spider's gone. Little spider's gone. Big big mama spider disappeared. Shoot. Ah. Uh. Hollis's best boy needs pets. <laughs> Where was it last time? It was it in front of Cad last time? It was in front of Cad last time. <laughs> Go step here and just take a wild swing. Okay. Ouch! Um, <laughs> you don't have reckless attack, do you yet? I no. Sec- I think that's a second level thing. So you would be swinging at disadvantage because you don't know where it is. That's fine. At eleven. Ouch. At one too. Um. That's the thing. If she doesn't hit something, her her rage end- ends this turn. <laughs> Does a 19 hit you, Cad? Yes. You take six because you you resist half of it because you're raging. So you do hit Cad. Roll 3d6s, Cad. Wait, I can use it on myself. Yes. Okay. Wait, isn't Cad wearing a special necklace? He is. Is that okay. where this is coming from? Okay, so you take none, Cad. Yay, I like being tough. Hollis. Uh, Hollis is gonna go over here and wait. <laughs> you gonna hold an attack or is he just gonna wait? He's gonna hold an attack. Okay. He's Yarn. going to relieve himself from that tree and knock the tree like 50 feet that way. <laughs> no. no. Hey, you don't have to do your, uh, you know, wipe, wipe of spiders thing, because there's currently no spiders on lock. Yep. Bjorn is off a of shower duty. <laughs> You're off a of boozer blaster duty. <laughs> All right. I'm going to position myself here, replace my decanter, get my sword back out, um, and I'm just gonna like ready an action if anything unfriendly happens to pop up within striking range of me. I'm just gonna swing at it. Okay. Is it is the sword still glowing? I'm guessing. Yes, the sword is still glowing. That's that's me. Um, and I forgot to take the damage that Oak would have taken earlier, so. Oak is at 75. Um, because. Rar. Ah. Um, and this is going to be a two attacks on Oak. 11 misses, Gurr. <laughs> 13 misses, Gurr. <laughs> ah! Now, Cat. Uh, let's see. Well, mm. can I hit him from here, or do I have to be here? Uh, how exactly does this perimeter work? You can go there. Okay. Like, as much as I love this spider, I'm not trying to give him a hug. So. <laughs> right. Um, 
Also, Spider would have been rolling at disadvantage because he wasn't targeting me, I believe. Okay, so... Isn't that how that works? That would be how that works, yes. Let me just double check that he doesn't hit... Anyway, nope, he doesn't. Okay. Okay. Me on the other hand. 22 to hit for 16. Um, yep, you will hit for 16. Twenty-five to hit for eleven. Alrighty. I'm like snarling in this guy's face. All right, I'm done. And um, he will promptly just, you know, not want to deal with that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> This bitch keeps disappearing, and I don't like it. This is what happens when you let the little tiny spider babies go away. And, Did you know, we... you know I forgot a thing, and I'm just going to be nicer now. Uh... <laughs> Oak is... Glad he didn't get hit. He's a bit terrified. He's going to... It's, it's not his puppy, but it's a support puppy, and he's just going to heal the... Uh, Hollis, because he wants to do something with her. <laughs> um... Did he forget he was the healer for a minute? Yeah, kinda. Uh, so, cure wounds. That cures for, I think, a D8. Yeah, D8 plus 4. D8. Yeah. Uh, 9 healing for Hollis. Oh, he's almost back up. Um, and because I forgot about it, and the fact that, you know, it's just turning invisible, and it can use its attacks, a single attack on its... Uh, action and things. Um, at the end of Oak's turn, because it is angry, it is going to, uh, let's see. Yeah, down here. Rawr. Oh, so it's just appearing right on top of me then? Well, not on top of you, but in front of you, because it can't get on top oh. of you, technically. It okay. only just one attack because this is a legendary attack action thing. 24. Uh, well, I mean, I have the armor class of a piece of tissue paper, so... <laughs> I mean, yeah, you do. If he had rolled 11 less than that, he wouldn't have hit me. <laughs> um, so... This guy literally has to roll lower than, like, a fucking, like, 5 to hit me. <laughs> Uh, my armor class is 14. So you take 7, make for me a con save. Oh boy. Uh, that damage, is that damage still being halved by Oak? It would be, yeah. Okay. I don't Ooh. think that succeeds. Um, nope. So this would also be halved by Oak. 24 becomes 12. Oof! So... Do I do like my thing? It was like a total of 15 damage to us both? It would be a total of 15 damage to... Uh... Both, yes. Do I get the... Barrier thingy from, uh, Oak's shtick? Or not Oak's, a cat? Yeah, his uh, little... Cat. Nine. So... Oak still takes 15, but you take 6. Okay. I can, I can live with that. I only lose one-tenth of my HP, roughly. <laughs> uh... Does that make it my turn now? Where did my turn go? Where did your turn go? No, no, no. This is... It would be your turn now, yes. And that was not on the spider's turn, so it's not your turn yet, Cat. 
uh, legendary actions there, funky. Okay, so Spider went and did a bite, I'm assuming? Yep. Well, Locke will uh, glare back at it, and he will cast, he will use his last remaining spell slot to cast Blight on the bitch. Mm-hmm. At fifth level. Yep. So he needs to make a DC 15 saving throw. Con. DC 15 con saving throw. Uh. Yep. All right. So. Uh, half damage. He'll take. He'll take half damage. So that's a total of 16. So, oh, you already have it. So 16. All ready. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Ribbon. Okay. Oh god, the spider didn't disappear this time. It did, but then it reappeared. Why did it's it almost, reappear? It's almost like God forgot that the spider would be angry and can interrupt its invisibility by virtue of attacking. So... Yeah. Because see, it has three legendary actions and it spends two of those to go poof. And then one of hey, those hey, hey, two, hey. and then one of those two attack again to reappear. Um, and it's angry, and it's an animal, so it's not going to be very smart. Go, River. Ha! <laughs> Charging. <clears throat> Get it. Three attacks. Hold on, let me fix the thing right quick. Because I technically had, I, I technically had something invisible there, and it was messing with my brain. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Um, so yeah, roll your attacks. Ha! Ah, fuck! No. Somehow it skips lock and goes straight to me. Um. <laughs> oh. Uh. Lock, make me a dexterity save. Oh god, give me a second. <laughs> okay, dexterity save. Well, since I'm basically the rogue, I'm at least half decent at dex, but not good enough. Ten. Okay, so you take what's that? Seven, and so does Oak. <laughs> you take none, but Oak takes seven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Poor Oak. Like Locke will just look over to Oak and be like, "You sure you want to leave this spell up, man?" <laughs> That's just, like just wounds are just appearing all over in my bed. He's yeah, probably gonna much. start like mass curing himself or something. <laughs> yeah, I could just yeah, imagine Oak, like looking up from the ground as he's just like, I'm fine, and then just puking up an entire tidal wave of blood. Just blah. Oh, and you're. <laughs> so got this heal, heal, heal. And then you did hit it. You had three attacks, right, Ribbon? Yes. Okay, so one of those yeah, did hit the ten. Okay, uh, Colossal Slayer, Slayer had a one extra one d eight damage to it. Okay. Six. So, sixteen. Yes. Alrighty. Well, actually, wait. Is it below its hit points? I like, mean, max hit points? Yeah, definitely. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah. Um, that basically, be being below max hit points is just, I've been hit once and <laughs> have no way to cure. <laughs> I know, that's why I was just asking. It's like, did we actually hit him? Oh yeah, you did. You have. Okay. Um, so now it is to uh, Hollis. That puppy's gonna run over here. Uh, gonna have an advantage. Does a 16 hit? Yes. Yeah, so... Uh... Pin piercing. And then that's no... That's the damage of knock... The knock prone thing is regardless of size, right? It just says if a tar If the target is a creature, it must succeed a DC 13 strength save. Or yeah. be thrown. Or knock prone. Rip his leg off! Um... 
so, then we will do the strength save for Miss Spider Queen. <laughs> DC 13. Sit. She made exactly the 13, so she does not. She's fine. And it is to uh, Bjorn. I don't know what all the running around is. So Bjorn's going to move over here. Now, given that I have an ally right over here, I get advantage on my attack rolls, yes? Um, if we were to... Is like, still a thing? I, I mean, think... Could... We... Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I believe that's how flanking works. It is, technically. Oh. Alright. Then I'm going in on this guy. Oh, thank god. 14... Uh, 14 misses. Yeah, alright. Uh, we'll try it again. 24 that hit, though. feels way more satisfying. Gonna smite the bastard. With the biggest communist smite I can do. And his smite sort of forms a giant golden glowing boot that crushes him from above. <laughs> I was picturing a middle finger, but that is oh, more okay. appropriate. That is more <laughs> appropriate. Oh, it's Holy a good one. 29. Nice. Okay. Um, Ow. That hurt. <laughs> Okay. So Yeah, um Miss Spider is not happy with that because that hurt. And she is going to make two attacks towards uh uh Bjorn. Bring it on. Which have to They're gonna be at disadvantage from my ancestral protectors. Right, I know. I know. 21 hit you? Unfortunately, it do. Okay. I'm just gonna roll the other one to see. No, because a 16, 16 doesn't. Um, it does not, no. Okay, so... But he's a lucky spider. Shush, no. <laughs> you shush. <laughs> Okay, so one one set of damage. Thirteen. And then hold off on actually taking that damage. Um, roll for me a constitution save. Seventeen. Okay. So this is halved with poison damage. Eighteen nine. Um and then so that would be a total of twenty two CAD three D six. Minus eight. Twenty two minus eight is fourteen. Fourteen. Yep. So fourteen damage. Alright. Fourteen. CAD. Oh, bonus action. Bye. <laughs> What a... Alright. What a bitch. <laughs> That's... Yep. Um... <clears throat> can I smack where he once was, I guess? You can. And you would be striking normally. Because okay. you're reckless and whatnot. I recklessly attack... Over there somewhere. Uh... But I'm randomly lucky. <laughs> Fifteen to attack the darkness. Um, <laughs> that will miss. But I'll give you another hit because technically you would have gotten a, a hit earlier from Envy. That would be normal advantage because of when it attacked Bjorn. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Because you have. And I'm not using hit. my reaction apparently. So. Yep. Twenty-two to hit for a nine. It would have took nine then, yep. Okay. Previously. Retconning done. I want to smack again. Have I already done no. That you was did just, your second you did your second hit. That yep. was lucky. Right. Uh -huh. So eighteen. Um 
swinging in this vicinity? Yeah, that'll hit. It is still there. Sweet! Okay. Um... Andrew has never been so ecstatic to viscerally attack the emptiness in front of him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, so at the end of your turn, Cad, it, uh, Roar, it's over there. You swung ah. a big around and you had hit it when it's over there, technically. Um, because it did technically move while it was invisible. It just went up there. So, okay. uh, it's going to swing at Cad because you heard. 11 miss. Yeah, no. 21. That will hit. Okay. Right, because it gets advantage. I forgot. Um, oh. Yeah, that would have been its first attack then, because it would have advantage, you're right. I'm uh, reckless. I admit it. Yeah. So, 12 damage, half to 6. Make me a con save. Uh, straight? Yep. Straight Earned. constitution save. Okay. So, you take half of this, and it's not halved by your rage because it's poison damage. 13. So I'd say 19. Yes. And um, did my swirling things affect myself too, I think we said? Yep, 3d6. So 9. So I'd take 9. Okay. Yay, super tank. Okay. Uh, and that was on... At the end of my turn. Yeah, that was at the end of your turn. So... It is now Oak's turn, and Oak is going to disengage and back away because I... Uh, actually... Actually, no. Oak is not going to do that. Oak is going to cure himself. <laughs> and stand tall and proud and just stare this stupid spider down. Also, um, if you walk away from the group, you're more likely to be the next person he teleports to. Yeah, exactly. Um... So, he's going to cast it at a couple levels higher to do 2, d8, plus 4 to himself, to heal himself of 10. Yay! Like one hit. Woohoo! Yeah, how about that? Um, lock. Poor Oak. Yeah, really. Whoops, I skipped Alright, my lock. turn? Yep. Alright. Me. Well... I am out of spell slots, but I do still have two charges on the Sickle of Slaughter. You do. So, I will use my bonus action to utter the command word bleed, and I will attempt to shunk this thing with the Sickle of Slaughter. I get the yes. feeling I don't hit. No. <laughs> At least you don't hit me for negative one. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll attempt to hit it. Fail spectacularly. Uh, I forget. Let's see here. And, and I will uh, just let out a little curse, I guess, and end my turn. There's not really much else I can do. Um, Ribbon. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn around and just go wacky, wacky, whack. Twenty six. Twenty six is uh, a hit. Twenty two. And a twenty four and another D eight. Seven. Uh, fourteen. Twenty two. No. Sixteen. Oh yeah, sixteen. Twenty six. Eleven. 37. 37. And then... 44. 44. Um... Okay. So, 44 total damage to Spider, Al. Yes, hi, Spider. Uh, dead Spider. Ow. Or die Spider. 
Dead, dead spider. Dead spider. <laughs> Yay! Combat over. Ah. Uh, um. Did we so win? You you come out of rage, Cad. Yay! I should hope so. <laughs> and uh, Cad, when yeah. your rage when your rage ends, you just suddenly take fifty nine damage. What now? I. Yep. Oh, why? That is so much. You why? You, you are wrecked with pain when your rage ends. Everybody except Cad, give me a perception check. Uh, are his like little floaty redos turning on him? Just... I feel like no. all the damage he blocked up to this point is just like getting thrown at once or something, right? Griffin is still hacking away at the spider. I don't know what the fuck Bjorn's doing, but it's not productive. Same with Locke. He's like looking at the dead spider like, ah! I missed. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Oak has to roll, but Oak probably can't really fail unless he rolls garbage because just... <laughs> the, the DC for it's technically like a 15 so <laughs> <laughs> well, how about oh, no, let's get a check <laughs> a 15 you say I mean technically he would he just wouldn't have any way to do it he, he has no the exact same roll you did but, but mine no was on one. It. No one, no got, one got, it. got it. All we know is like we probably think he's like kind of like going through his end rage bit. So yeah, Cad, you will end your rage. No one notices really what specifics have happened, and you are just suddenly racked with fifty nine damage and pain. Just... Imagine that I would flump on the ground in agony if I suddenly took that much. I would probably see that you. I could see you either falling to the ground or like dropping to a knee or something. Because you're pretty. 59! That's a lot all at once. Is that over half? I am. I am at 50%, yes. Okay. That includes a couple scratches from the fight itself, but yeah, that that's like. I'm at half health. Okay, then, yeah, you, you, you kind of come out of your rage and just sort of fall over. You're not unconscious, but you just fall over. Ow! I assume what? we all noticed that. Did we lose? <laughs> oh, oh, dude, you're right. I, I don't know what. <clears throat> Does he look like he just suddenly grew a bunch of new injuries, or is he just on the ground? Um... I would say he looks like he's sustained some injuries, yeah. They look mostly like bites. Huh. Am I able to get back onto my feet? Oh yeah, sure. Because you're not like okay. unconscious, you just take a lot of damage all at once. It just sort of knocks the wind out of you. I get up and try and shake it off and stagger yeah. till I find which way's up again. Oh, gosh. Okay. You all right? Oh. Then what happened? Oh, no. I usually ask you guys what happened. Right? I'm guessing we won. Uh, yeah, <laughs> spiders are dead. Okay. I mean, you do, Cad. You, Cad, you do see a carcass of a giant spider that you didn't notice before that's right there in front of you. Okay, fine. It just poofed, so I out of sight, out of mind. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, no clue what that was. Ugh. Glad it's over, though. Agreed. Now, giant ass spider that could teleport. Hmm. Uh, Locke would like to uh, make a check, whichever you think would be appropriate, to ascertain if any part of this thing, if you know, cut off and salvaged would sell well. Interesting. For like a good price. Like eyes or fangs or anything like that. Or it's webbing even. I suppose nature could do that. 
Nature or survival, maybe? Yeah, probably. Um, by okay. the way, there are I actually other... have something in survival. There are a couple other hills, little hills like the one that Riven initially poked scattered on the battlefield. There is one... Uh, let me draw... Not up there. It'd be more like here and here and there's one further away over there. I rolled a 14 on that survival. Um... Based on what you could figure, it would probably getting eyes, um, perhaps uh, venom sacks and fangs would probably sell really well if you could get them off of the thing. All right. Uh, does anyone want to help Lock with that? Because he doesn't have the best uh, assortment of skills here. Head starts raging. <laughs> 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 Hey, Bjorn, want to help me get some shit off of this thing? Yeah, I suppose I could. Sweet. So it could come in handy with this. And I will try to uh, scavenge the things that you told me. Mm -hmm. Um. Will that be another survival check? Give me another survival with advantage because uh, Bjorn is helping you. Sixteen. Sixteen. Um... You get one of the fangs and the venom sack, and not really the leg though, because that's going to be kind of difficult for you to uh, be able to remove because of how it fell over. I will say that, um, and it's just a really fucking big spider. So one spider fang, one venom sack. Yeah. Um. Venom sack and one and and one spider fang. All right, add it to my inventory. We'll sell those to an alchemist when next we are in a town. Um, yeah. So, the other things that you have left for this area right now is there are some uh, hilly mounds that looked a lot like the one that the Riven initially poked. Um, and I just want to like go and start poking at the mounds. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you no, going to? You got right. three. It's just like, are there more uh, of you? Let's go over here. Let's go to this one. Oh, by the by, uh, Cad, or not Cad, Block, when you were doing your survival to investigate all that? Yeah. Um, very reminiscent of what happened at the end of the last spider confrontation, you see a nice set of Roll me a d6. Forgot the slash. You did. Five. five. Cool. So, you see five little mounds of egg sacs that are slowly writhing. Writhing? And moving on her, on the uh, carcass's back. Uh, I will point those out. <laughs> uh, should Burn we destroy it. those immediately? What you do is you collect them without damaging them, and you sell them to level one adventurers as pets. <laughs> uh, or we could use the decanter of endless ale. Or burn it. How about this? Use the decanter of endless ale, douse them in a bunch of alcohol, and then I will use firebolt to ignite them. Yes. Perfect. Sir. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Not Guys are is getting out of dodge. All right. Riven. So we're just over here giving this giant spider and her still living babies a, a, a funeral pyre burial. Alright, hear me out on this though. If you just like hold the firebolt in your hand and I fire the geyser of ale through it, we can flamethrower this bitch. Okay, but there's yeah. a problem with that. The geyser lets out shit hard enough to knock a grown half-elf on his ass. I don't want to light that on fire when I'm standing right next to it. Well, you know, stand next to me and hold your hand out in front of you. It, it sounds like a magnificent way to burn my hand. <laughs> it, if it, so, it, we've got people with healing magic. You'll be fine. It's funny. It's funny, but nah. Let's not do that. Um, All right. Riven, give me a dexterity uh, check to... Um, oh, no. I'm probably going to kill someone. 22. Okay. 
So you will release. Um, oh, wait. wait, no, that's dexterity save. Hold on. Twelve. There you go. Okay, that's that's fine. Um, so you uh, release this one over here, and you have found uh, the halfling who I don't think actually has a name because the blacksmith's a different one on your. The halfling blacksmith. The, black that I the halfling blacksmith is not the one that was with the uh, people on the uh, uh, I don't remember the name that I there, gave to there, there's, an, there's another blacksmith, but he lives in uh, go, yeah. Well, on the map, he lives in a town that you've had him hitting on Riven. Well, he was not, another half orc. Yeah, that's a different thing. Um, but you find the halfling of the three that are normally at the um, trading post. Okay. Um, I poke him as well to see if he's alive. <laughs> medicine! It's a six! Um, he looks like he's breathing. Maybe. Maybe? Okay. Uh huh. Is this one breathing? Uh. Yeah, Oak's not even gonna bother the medicine. He's just gonna cure wounds. Um, because he still has spell slots for that. And then immediately the um. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, cure wounds. And eyes are gonna open, and he's. <coughs> And he currently cannot move. Lesser restoration. Now he can move. He's just still trapped in the webs a bit. Uh. Oh! Riven. Thank goodness. <laughs> fire. Whoa! Fire. fire. Why is there a fire over there? Oh, that was the spider. Th that was the... What? Weren't Wait, you dragged out here by a spider? Yeah, but that looks like too big a funeral pyre for the spiders that we bought. Well, lost oh, to. That, then you were probably, you know, dragged by their babies. We killed the grandma of the pack. I... Okay. Oh, uh, Mr. Dwarf is over there. And what about his sister? I'm about to go look. <laughs> oh, and someone else was near the during the attack, so there's somebody else over here too. <coughs> okay. I start going. I was just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> just start going through. Um, okay. That's safe. Oh, oh no. Fun. Um. Hmm. Make for me an attack roll. Oh no! Please don't crit on me. Oh no! Of course it does. Oh no! <laughs> no! No! Oh no! no! I gotta roll. There's two more dice I have to roll. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Wait, is it a, just one extra D8 or is it two D8s? Just one. Okay. So I'm no. swirling, dudes. You, no, oh, you don't. No. The rage is over. You I just know. I'm a murder. I <laughs> because it was an accident. I, I, I see oh, Riven no. just walk up and be like swinging the axes, wakey wakey. <laughs> no, it's just more like she sits there and it's like having a hard time, like trying to. Like, cut through this one, and then she just, like, puts enough force in it, and it just goes, like, her whole arm just goes through. It's just, like something oh, from, shit. like, a fucking 90s horror movie. I come up with an X. Wakey, wakey. No. <laughs> um, so you find your way into the, um, uh, into the, uh, web. Oh, no. Yeah. And there is now a. 
very, very pale female dwarf. Alive. <laughs> it looks very similar to the to the other human humanoid characters that you have killed in the past. She don't look alive. I mean, I, 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 I must have, I, 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 I just, I just came too late. I, I, I didn't make it in time. I. Uh, uh, uh. How recently dead? I feel like that is an important thing to try and figure out. How long dead? The only one. Well, that's. that's the thing. only one that's looking yeah. at her right now is Riven. Although Riven like under, look, looks at her like. Here. Riven's quickly going to move away, <laughs> without looking at Oak, <laughs> and go to the other pile. Wait, is this a pile up here, or is it not? Yes, it is. It is. It's another one. Okay. She's gonna. gonna... Okay. Dexterity save. Or dexterity check, rather. Fifteen. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, and inside is an unconscious uh, person whom you do not know. She looks like that. She's a female half-orc. Okay. I got another one over here. Uh, I guess Locke will stop gazing into the fire and come over to have a look-see. Alright. Oak is going to uh, do some uh, cure wounds and things. Lesser restoration at a higher level because he's not used any higher spell slots really. And uh, one final time from a certain bird, bird bard's backstory, Kotiki is awake. Last she remembers, yeah. she, last she remembers, she came to uh, check in on the um, trading post, and she found that it was abandoned. She went to look into it, and now she's here, and she knows not any of these people. <laughs> but she is awake now due to cure wounds and lesser restoration awake and not beheaded or, and or dehydra dehydrated nope nope she's fine that's good <laughs> yeah it is good but she is conscious enough and sees the people above her if she wants to say anything I don't know if you want her to say anything in the moment since you are yourself retired um, I don't know exactly what she was doing in the area, so, I mean, she would obviously be very warm, and thank you for rescuing her. Okay. She's very friendly. Mm-hmm. Um, so, we have a somewhat, uh, motherly and helpful uh, half work. Locke, when you like took away parts of the uh, carcass thing, did you quickly put them into the bag or anything? Or uh, I, I figured I would have done so, yeah. Like, they're in my inventory, so. Yeah. So, I think you would see a big, huge spider pyre that's behind the, the trees over there. Yeah. Um. So it's quite obvious that these people have come to rescue you. Um. Yeah. And you will uh, make your way back to the outpost with helping those who are able. And so, uh, Musak is not exactly um in the best of spirits because his sister is killed. Um, 
But yeah. Thankfully, no one was ever there when Ruben did that. <laughs> How is Ruben feeling quiet. at the moment? She is very quiet. That is surprisingly mm, not quiet. unusual for her. Yeah, so. <laughs> right. Um, so you will return to the uh, trading post. There will be a little burial for uh, his sister. And yeah. From there, Kotiki will move on uh, back into the uh, wilds of the north, so to speak. Um, and you guys can maybe spend a night at the trading post and then continue making your way east, uh, westward. I'm down for that if everyone else is. I'm down for either or, really. Sure. I only really need to sit somewhere for an hour to get my spell slots back, so... Mm -hmm. a, good, a good rest sounds like a good idea, though. We took a couple of decent hits. Cat took Cat a lot of hits. Yeah, he, really he took did. fucking 59, and Oak... Oak just absorbed all of the shit that was meant for me. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, so... You guys will rest... in Riven. Uh... Uh, b before that, actually, there was something I wanted to do in this day before we stopped okay. to sleep. Yeah. Okay, sure. so, uh, like, do we have, like, separate rooms? Uh, you would be tent you would be camping as normal, because the, uh, ah. outpost, outpost doesn't have rooms, really. Right, okay. Uh, then in that case, uh, remind me, what is our usual watch rotation? Uh, Bjorn and Oak first. Cad and Lonk in the middle, and then a Ribbon and Hollis at the end. Okay, uh, in that case, uh, as, like, things are getting ready and, like, uh, Oak and Bjorn are getting ready for their watch, can I pull um, Oak aside for a minute? Okay. <clears throat> hey, uh, do you still have any spell slots you can use today? Like, are you still good magic-wise? Uh, I can do... Some things, what do you need? Uh, what is that thing that you do sometimes where you can, uh, like, like, Oak does have that ability where he can ask, like, three questions, right? Or am I thinking of someone else for that? What is it? The ask, like, three questions of a deity thing? And get yes or no response? Oh, uh... Uh, like, what is immune thing. Yeah, that. Uh, is that a thing Oak can do? Ed can yeah. talk to his ancestors. Let's see. Uh, it's not something that he has prepared. It's not something he usually does. Mm. All right. He could, but he's okay. not got it prepared right now. Okay. Uh, right. right. But you well, can have Cad talk to his ancestors if you want. <laughs> well, I don't know if they'll be of much help in this, because uh, getting back in character for a moment, I mean, we've all noticed that there's something up with Riven, not sure what. I tried talking to her about it, and she kind of brushed me off about it, so I really don't want to push my luck there if I can help it. So... If possible, do you think maybe you could use that spell when you get a free chance to see if you can divine anything about what's happening around that? Like, it, it, is something fiddling with her mind from the outside? Has she just changed more than I thought since we parted ways, or something like to that effect? Uh, maybe. I mean, I can I can always have them look into it. Uh, but we also have other people that could. Uh. I don't want us to lose. It's, it's going to be a couple days, I guess. If when we're going up to Noro's Lair, uh, I can switch it over, I guess. But at the same time, we also have other people that we could ask. Not just with, like, there was a statement with uh, Cad being able to talk to his ancestors, and I'm curious what's going on with them anyway. 
Um, mm. I don't know exactly what's up with that. Um, but then you also have Ambin Twin. You haven't really talked to him in a while, have you? I haven't. Generally speaking, I try not to call on his advice for things that are happening within our immediate vicinity. If I'm going to call on him for help, it's usually so I can be made aware of something that's happening farther away that I can't interact with now. Right. Well... I suppose I could give it a shot and see if anything comes of it, but I don't know what all will come of it. He's right. a powerful dude, but I have no idea how much he actually knows, and that I seriously just used the word dude to describe him. <laughs> you did. Well, I'll I just mean, kind of face palm. Well, the thing is, you gotta remember that deities and entities of that sort come in different levels. And depending on worship and knowledge is in a large way why they can divine the things that they can divine. While, you know, my deity is somebody who's much higher on the food chain, he's also information that's going to be vague and up to interpretation. While someone like Anvin Swin's going to potentially be still vague, but you have a rapport with him. You've talked to him more directly. Um, Every time I go blasting blast. something, I'm basically taking a piece of him and chucking it at them. Right. And I think that's how that works. It's, it's weird. I honestly don't get it most of the time. I'm just saying that we have different options. I can try and see what I can find out. Um, you specifically want me to ask and see if there's anything what is going on with Riven. Yeah, ideally I would like to see if we could at least get some idea of like if something is messing with her from the outside or if it's inside or like is this supposed to be happening? Is it right? Just Right. Okay. Right. So I'll you... see if I can I'll see if I can get in touch with Ambenswind about it when I go to sleep tonight, uh after my watch. If not did... Now, did you notice anything going on with Cad during that fight? That was... His spirits were acting all kinds of weird. Yeah, they were acting all kinds of funky on that front. Uh... Huh. Maybe that's what we'll talk to them about. <laughs> Not a bad idea, I suppose. If he, if he has the power to do that, it wouldn't be a bad use of our time. Yeah. See what we can ascertain. Um. Yeah. All, right. all right. So we'll look into that tomorrow, because I think Ken right. needs more sleep than anything right now. Oh yeah. What the hell happened to him anyway? He like, I think it got like scratched once, but then when the fight was over, he just keeled over and had like seventeen different cuts appear on him. That ain't yeah, right. I don't know. I I don't know. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll look into that then. Alright. Alright. Enjoy your walk. Yep. And I will off to my time. Uh, so, as a finale for this session, because it's almost 2 o'clock, um, Riven. Ah, what? Charisma save. Oh no! Anything special to it, or no? Just a charisma save. Plus 3, right? No. 14. Um, because this would be happening when she goes to sleep, which is eh, gotcha. She, she, she. Well, that's before, the thing. It could ha It could happen because you can't really tell when you're gonna have a dream when you sleep. True. Yeah, true. Fair enough. Um, so fourteen. Um, yeah. Riven, roll for me a d six. Three. Three. Um, you hear very spidery thoughts. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh. Hmm. 
<laughs> I like that. Okay. Oh, that's not a good laugh. All right. So, Riven, I'm going to close out this session. You find yourself in the hospital again, or the hospital building oh. thing, waiting room thing. Joy. And, um... He is not in the waiting room himself. He's in the hallway, facing facing towards the waiting room. Am I in the waiting room? You're in the waiting room, and you just sort of appear in the middle of it, and he's just in front of the hallway. And you can Who see him. Who is he? He... Is the bugbear that dive bombed you? Ooh. Uh. And I'm gonna end it there. Oh great! Can we leave? <laughs> actually, can we leave it off with her charging at the bugbear? Sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. That's, yeah. Is that the turn? <laughs> okay. What well, she ah. thinks it's like. Yeah, she appeared in the ho in this hospital, but all of a sudden, here's this bugbear that harmed us. She's going to, like... You know, you're totally forgetting that she killed it. Yeah, well, no. She knows that she killed it and be like, why are you here? You're un gotta be undead. Kill it again. <laughs> Alrighty. So, we shall end it there. It'll be a nice thing to come to. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Who's doing the next time? Uh, next time can be... Uh, Ribbon do the This Has Been Shadows, and I will do the next time. Yeah. I... This has been... <laughs> this has been Shadow of the Gradarial. Join us next time when we find out exactly what Ribbon is contending with in this uh, totally not magically induced nightmare. I blame the axes. I will always blame the axes. But the axes are fine, dude. <laughs>